Mongoose Jake back out here again. Another range test to do today. This time I'm catching up with the Dart Zone Quick Quick Fire 8. And I had this mentioned by one of my viewers in the other uh, in the chronograph test of this. Why don't I remove this barrel? Like for instance, if you remove the barrel off a retaliator, you will gain a little bit of velocity and a little bit of range. The reason is is this barrel is very short. And it's also much wider in diameter than a dart. So it won't get in the way, I don't believe, in any way, shape, or form. And I'm testing it as it is in its stock form. As I would do with a retaliator, which I'm going to do a chronograph test of um, one of my two retaliators just for the heck of it. So I have it as uh, data on my channel. But I'm going to do a range test. I already got the chronograph test of this, and I've been using it a little bit. So the full review will come up soon just like with the the busby abraham's m16 i've been running these two quite a bit so their full review is coming up very soon but i'm going to fire off eight of the included dart zone darts and then eight of my stash of modulus uh, colored elite nerf elite darts now i'm going to do level shots here as you can see i'll Put it right here at the corner of the screen and fire off eight shots. There's one. Oh, didn't rotate. That's a, not necessarily a spoiler, but that happens with this quite a bit. There's three. Four, five, six. There's a non rotate. I'll rotate it manually. I caught that one. Oh, that one sailed. <laughs> it went way past. And another failure to rotate, which I turned manually. Okay, I'm going to reload and put the modulus darts in. Okay, modulus colored elite darts loaded. And here we go. Oh, had a whirly bird. Failure to rotate. I didn't didn't see that one. That one nose dived a little bit. That one really went. And there we go again. Let's go check those out. Okay, our first one was the whirly bird, and it is just barely past the 29 feet mark. That one really won't count for too much. Our first couple, we've got an Elite and the first of uh, the Dart Zone darts here at the 40 foot mark. Of course, I fired eight of each. <clears throat> 46 feet, or in between 45 and 46, just about dead on 45 and a half, is our second Dart Zone dart. Our next Dart Zone dart is right at the 48 foot mark. And then you can see here. Two more dart zones. One of the modulus starts at about the 51 and a half foot mark. Moving on a little further, here is two elites. And that one's almost sitting right at the 55 foot mark. So that's pretty good range for a pistol. Here we are again. Dart zone dart, just shy of 57 feet. Two more elites. Here and here, um, basically splitting the the 59 foot mark. One short, one farther. Here's another elite at around about the 64 foot mark. Here we go with the dart zone. Walk that over. Just past the 67 foot mark, maybe by a couple inches. Now we're passing the 75 foot cone and I've got one dart zone dart at about 77 feet and 
a few inches. Now, I believe we've got them all. So that one last dart zone was the farthest shot. And as you've seen, range is basically scattered all the way from, all the way from in the 40s to the, the mid 70s. That shows uh, dart to cylinder fit makes a big difference. But this is Mongoose Jake. I want you think, want to thank you for watching this range test of the Dart Zone uh, Quick Fire 8, and be be tuned for stay tuned for the uh, full review. Should be coming up within the next week. Thanks for watching.